Good morning, Mid Prairie West. Welcome to School News. Today is Tuesday, October 29, 2024. This episode of School News is presented by Mrs. G's fourth grade class. We are your anchors, Ellie and Dawson. Today's show is going to be a great one. Are you ready to get it started, Dawson? I'm ready. Let's hear it from our lunchroom reporters, Isaiah and Grayson. Good morning, Mid Prairie West. We are here to share what you will be having for lunch today. Today's lunch is a, f a favor of students and staff. We'll be having a barbecue rib sandwich. Potato wedges. And diced pizzas. Back to you in the studio. Thanks for sharing the menu with us, Isaiah and Grayson. Now it's time to hear from our weather team to see what we can expect outside at recess. Take it away, Chloe and Tegan. Good morning, everyone. We are your meteorologists, Chloe and Tegan. We're here to help you be prepared for recess. Today, it will mostly be cloudy and windy. The high temperature will be 76 degrees. Remember to dress in layers. Yes, it's always chilly in the mornings during the fall. That's all for us in the Weather Center. Back to you in the studio. Thanks for sharing the forecast with us. Another wonderful fall forecast. Now let's turn it over to Zala and Elisa. Let's hear what today's national day is. Take it away, Elisa and Zala. Hello, everyone. We are here to celebrate today's national day. Can you guess what today's national day is? Here, here are a few hints. This is the day we celebrate felines. A group of these is called a clouder. And your last clue is that this animal has a rough tongue that keeps their body clean by acting like a brush. Wes, do you know what today's national day is? Today, today is, is national, national cat, cat day. day. Here are some fascinating facts about our feline friends. Cats use their whiskers to me measure if they can fit through small spaces. A cat's nose print is unique, just like a human's fingerprint. A cat's hearing is much better than a human's or even a dog's. Cats can make over um, 100 different sounds, while dogs can only make about 10. The first cat in space was a French cat named Elisette in 1963. Most cats don't like water, but some breeds like the Turkish Vada actually enjoy swimming. Another way to celebrate National Cat Day is by reading this book. The title of the book is Millions of Cats by Wanda Gag. From purrs to whiskers from midnight zoomies to lazy afternoon naps, cats truly make our lives special. I'm so here to our curious, independent, and lovable feeling companions. Happy, happy National Cat Day, everyone. Meow for now and see you next time. Thanks, Zolly and Lisa. I learned so much about cats. I did too. Ellie, very interesting facts. We're now going to hear from Kinsley, Gibson, and Axel to share some of their favorite cat jokes. Hello, West Elementary. In honor of National Cat Day, we have some hysterical jokes about cats. Hey, Kinsley and Gibson, are you ready to hear my joke? Yeah. Why can't a group hope of cats get together to play cards. Hmm, I'm not sure. Because they are all a, all a bunch of cheetahs. Now it's time for my jokes. Ready, Axel and Gibson? We are ready. Why do cats always win video games? I have no idea. Tell me. Because they have nine lives. Good one, Kinsey. I have a cat joke I'd like to share with you both. Let's hear it, Gibson. What do you call a old tomcat? Do you call her an old tomcat a grandpa? Yes, you got it. That's all the jokes we have today. Back to you, Ellie and Dawson. Those are some great jokes. I agree, Ellie. Now it's time for us to head to the hallways to see what our friends at West have to say. Take it away, Remley and Easton. Hi everyone, we're your hallway reporters. I'm Remley. And I'm Easton. It's almost Halloween. Let's find out what our friends are going to be dressing up as during the upcoming holiday. I can't wait to hear their answers. Let's go! <laughs> Hi, I'm here with Carson. In what grade are you in? Third. And what, what are you going to dress up as for Halloween? I am still deciding. I'm here with Maddie. What grade are you in, Maddie? Third. <laughs> Third. What are you going to be for Halloween? Deer. That's so cute. 
Hi, I'm here with Easton. And what grade are you in? Fourth. And what are you going to dress up for Halloween? Peely from Fortnite. <laughs> well, that's appealing. I'm here with Palmer. Palmer, what grade are you in? Fourth. And what are you going to be for Halloween? A doctor. That's a cool costume. I'm here with Mrs. Reno. And what grade do you teach? Third grade. And what are you going to dress up for Halloween as? It's kind of a secret, but some clues. It is a children's movie about feelings, and I will have long purple hair. We heard some interesting costumes. I'm going to be a cowgirl for Halloween. Yeehaw! <laughs> what about you, Easton? I'm going to be an embarrassment from Inside Out 2. We're excited to see everyone's costumes on Thursday. Back to you in the studio. Great reporting, Easton and Remley. Now it's time for the book talks. Let's find out what great books our friends Jordan and Arabella have read. My name is Arabella. And my name is Jordan. We are here to tell you about a great book to read. This book is one we have read in class. The title of the book is The Fairy Tale Detectives by Michael Buckley. We chose this book because our teacher thought we would like it and we did. This book is about two sisters that go on adventures and save their grandma. It is a fairy tale. Uh, you should read this book because it's a good book if you like mysteries and it's a good fairy tale. There is action, mystery, suspense, and science. So remember to check out the fairy tale detectives the next time you're at the library. Now it's time to celebrate some birthdays. Let's turn it over to Elena and make to see who's celebrating birthdays at West. Hello, MP West. Elementary, let's celebrate some birthdays. Happy birthday yesterday to our friend Mabel M in third grade. Happy birthday today to our friend Jaden Y in preschool. Happy birthday tomorrow to our third grade friend Bodie B. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Back to you in the studio. Thanks, Elena and Mick. We hope our friends have a wonderful birthday. Now it's time for Anna and Caleb to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance and the Golden Hawk Promise. Please stand. I pledge, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Go Hawks. Please repeat after me. I am a golden hawk. I am a golden hawk. I am a person of character. I am a person of character. I am respectful. I am respectful. I am responsible. I am responsible. I am safe. I am safe. Go Hawks. Go Hawks. Well, friends, we've come to the end of school news for today. We've had so much fun sharing the news, weather, birthdays, and jokes with you. School news will be back next week with a new class hosting. Until next time, from Mrs. G's class, hope you have a great, great day, day while still elementary. elementary.